Hi, I'm Debbie. We've just had a new shipment of glass arrive and in this shipment we have some royal glass. Now this royal glass here is gold. You can also get it in silver, red, um, copper, bronze, all sorts of colours. But it's really quite magnificent glass and it can make some beautiful jewellery pieces. So today we're going to make a, a simple pendant from this. Now you'll see that on the back side of it, it has quite a, a rough um, a texture with this pattern in. It's really, really beautiful glass to work with. So today we're going to make a pendant and I've got a couple of pieces here, little scrap pieces here from where I've cut up another piece and we're going to put this on a black background and then we're going to put a, a clear piece on the top of this and just make something very simple but it will be stunning I hope so we'll just clear that aside and we've got a, a 5x5 piece of um, standard black and we've got a 5x5 piece of standard clear here as well with our two pieces of royal gold so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut our black in half so that I can lay those two strips on there and we'll also tidy, tidy those up, just the ends of those so that it matches the, the length of the black. We're then going to cut half of the clear as well so that we can put that over the top. So first of all, on with the glasses. And then take our ruler and place that on the black, holding it down nicely. Nice little score line through there. We may as well score the clear while we're at it. And that's got a nice score line too. So we'll take our running, metal running pliers now. Notice that I, I always put that about halfway up the glass to, um, to get a very good grip on there and it breaks the glass nice and evenly. Rather than holding it right here on the edge, you do risk um, breaking that glass in, in the wrong, slightly wrong direction. So hold it right in the middle to give it a nice good break. So two of those pieces we'll set aside now to use for something else and then those two pieces here we're going to use. So if I now lay the my royal gold on top of that black glass, we'll just work out where we want to where we want to trim the ends of that. Sometimes it's easier just to put it side by side against the, the side that black and then use your ruler line. Now I'm going to cut these just in a fraction, slightly shorter than the black. side. Alright, now we need to get our kiln base and just pop that there. You'll see that I've got one piece of our 5x5 kiln paper on there and I've used a, a half piece as well. We often sell bags of the half, half pieces which can be handy just to give us a little bit more space there to work with on our fusing surface. So we'll pop the black there and now carefully place our two pieces of gold. What I'm doing is I'm putting the rough side and the gold surface down. Whoops, I've got a, an extra piece of glass there. That's a bonus. So we'll just line those up so the gold side is, is downwards. Pop them there. And then we take our clear and very carefully without <laughs> without bumping them, um, place the clear over the top. And of course they always want to move. As soon as you put the clear on, sometimes it can be a good idea to leave the clear until you get to the microwave. And that saves all those headaches. Okay, so our next step is to carry that across to the microwave and we 
are going to fire that in our 1100 watt microwave today and we'll start it off at two minutes on high and then we'll do a couple of one minute intervals and then less and less as we go on. Okay, so we've made sure that our pieces are still on there nice and straight and even. Pop that right into the middle of the turntable there and pop on one of our lids very carefully. It's quite a big piece so we don't want to bump it on the way, on the way in. Close the door and we'll do two minutes on high. Okay, I can see a nice glow coming from the top of our kiln now. That's great. Our glass is starting to change colour ever so slightly. We'll do another minute on high. Okay, just one quick little check. Yes, that looks perfect. Oh, that was hot. And I can see two amazing bubbles right in the centre there between those two pieces of glass, obviously, where the air was trapped in there. But uh, that looks fantastic. It's really, really cooling down quickly. So we need to put the lid on it so that it doesn't get subject to um, thermal shock. It needs to to cool down slowly. So here we are back again. It's a couple of hours since we've taken this out of the microwave now and it's completely cold. So let's take off the top and have a look at our royal gold glass. Oh wow, okay. That looks really nice. Perhaps a little bit over fired because we've started losing some of the, um, the gold out of there. But we've got two amazing bubbles which are perfectly symmetrical in there right in the middle but obviously between those two pieces of glass so we've got some lighter gold down here in this corner and certainly by the shape of the glass i can see that that wasn't fired quite to the same extent as the other corners so that's simply why it has lost its coloring so when you make your piece um, just remember to go easy on the firing and Keep checking it and try and get it um, out before this happens. Alright so I've selected a bale here um, based on the colourings. I've, ta I've taken a gunmetal bale and we just need to work out where we would like to put it on our piece. I think I'll put it at the top so that we're coming down into this brighter gold. So just to finish it off now We'll pop a little dab of glue on our bale, turn that around, turn that over and just pop it onto the back there, give it a little press down on there to start the bonding process. We'll just check from the front that it's lined up nice and centred and there it is. So that just needs to set for a couple of hours at least before we can wear that and we can we've got a selection of different chokers and chains that we can wear these with I'll just put that down we've got a black choke black wire choker like the one that I'm wearing we've got a we could wear it with a silver wire choker even though it's gold the silver there will still blend in because we've managed to um, somehow <laughs> take away a lot of our gold colour. We've got a another choker here that um, simply does up at the back and that sits nice and flat on your neck and we've got another another choker here with ball ends that simply undo so that you can put your piece on there and a sterling silver chain that that would, would work with. Thanks for watching this video, you can see more of our videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates.